Hi, I am Dr. Christine Lee. This is take two for this morning's instructional video about how to develop positive habits when you've been struggling with ones that you don't like. I call this a comprehensive plan because habit change is not a simple affair. We kind of hang on to habits sometimes without really consciously thinking things through. And I wanna give you the secrets and maybe not the, they're not incredible secrets, but they are tips for figuring out how to create some room for yourself so that you can insert the new habits and clear yourself away from the habits that you don't like anymore. So the first tip is kind of a grouping of tips and that is the forgiveness phase of habit change. You need to be able to have kindness towards yourself, forgive yourself, and have compassion towards yourself for the fact that you have been struggling, that you keep going to the refrigerator um, every time you're bored, that you keep um, overspending. Whatever your habit is, you wanna accept that that reality exists, forgive yourself for being with that habit, perhaps for a little too long, and then show yourself the kindness to say to yourself that you can change what bothers you. You can change your life for the better just because you woke up today on Tuesday and decided that this was a good day to do that. Okay, so the first phase is the forgiveness phase. All right, the second phase is realizing from a kind of cognitive standpoint that all habits are changeable. I think by definition, habits are changeable because habits are all about um, action A leads to consequence B, which triggers action C or event C. So it's A to B to C. And as you can see, all we need to do is kind of change A, maybe eliminate B or strengthen C. And any, any alteration of the habit chain can help you to get rid of habits completely, uh, the ones that you don't like. So remember, the second phase is to remember that habits are changeable and that you have control over your habits. Third step, third phase, is to thank the habit that you're letting go. Um, this is different than having forgiveness towards, towards yourself. This is actually being grateful for the old habit because you wouldn't have adopted this old habit or this unhealthy habit or unwanted habit if it didn't serve you at some point in your past. So maybe you needed an extra piece of fun. Maybe you spent a little bit too much because you were feeling badly about a loss of a friend or a family member. Whatever it is, it's okay. We're human. We make mistakes. Um, we're not perfect. And let's move on. Let's let's decide, okay, I understand that I've got good habits and bad. I'm just wanting to shift the balance over towards the good habits now. All right. Fourth phase is that you want to talk to yourself in a new way. You want to talk to yourself in the present tense with a positive language as if you're already doing your new behavior. So if you're wanting to give up sugar or candy or junk food or soda, you might wanna start saying, I am someone who eats well. I am someone who eats healthily. I am someone who makes good choices. This might sound a little crazy because indeed you are reading the refrigerator all the time, but that's okay because once we say these words, our bodies and minds can only start to comply. And that's gonna make the, the adjustment to better habit taking, have it doing a little bit easier. So remember to talk to yourself as if you're already doing the new behavior, set the stage. Fifth phase, you wanna design the habit as if your life depended on it. You want to, I'm just, that's a little too serious, design the habit well. So you wanna say, what habit do I want to eventually end up doing? How, do, how is it going to look? When am I gonna do this habit? Who do I need to help me with this habit? Should I schedule the habit? What positive thoughts am I gonna have with the habit? And how am I gonna feel after the habit is um, well established? So you wanna do the full design of this new habit. It doesn't have to be complicated, but you do wanna envision, again, yourself doing these things. Sixth phase. This is the pragmatic piece. You wanna start writing things down. I've written the tips for you today, and I want you to take a blank piece of paper or your calendar, your paper calendar, and start doing boxes or check marks or little scribbles of, yay, I did it. 
every single time you accomplish the new habit. So you have visual reminder, positive reinforcement that you have been successful in moving away from your bad behavior and adopting your good behavior. I hate to use good and bad, but sometimes it's a shortcut and you know what I mean. So use these paper reminders of what you wanna do. Keep your streaks and stick to your streaks. And if you do slip for a day, make it just one day. A slip is fine, but we don't wanna slip two days in a row. We just wanna get back on the horse and do the streak again. All right, and seventh thing that I need to let you know is that when we make changes, guess what? Our anxiety starts to go up a little bit. We start to get a little frustrated. We might feel a little irritable. We might feel not like, um, not so chipper anymore when we don't have the refrigerator to calm us down. So I want you to know that. I want you to know that ahead of time that new behaviors cause a little bit of a spike in anxiety. But of course, after that spike of anxiety, we feel better. We feel proud of ourselves. We feel excited. We feel accomplished. So I want to get you all those feelings. I don't want you to feel the anxiety spikes all the time. I want you to get to the other side. So just know this ahead of time that anxiety is going to be part of your journey. And the final phase is a really important one to celebrate yourself. Celebrate the fact that you've made this effort, that you transformed your life, that you transformed your daily routine, and that you've done something on purpose, something that can teach you that you are super powerful, you are super wonderful, you're super able, and super on your way to even greater successes. So I hope this whole path towards behavior change has been helpful to you. I've enjoyed talking to you about it. As a summary, you just wanna forgive yourself for all the stuff that you've been stuck with and that you feel like you really can't get away with and know that habits are changeable and that with a specific plan and trackers and love from other people and love for yourself, you can do any of these habit changes that you want to. Remember that you're gonna have a little bit of maybe a twinge of anxiety in the new phase of the new habit, but then afterwards you're gonna feel so much better about yourself. If these words helped you, if you feel like you're ready to make really deep habit changes and you've been struggling to do these things on your own, I wanna invite you to take it a level or step deeper um, by joining me in my Freedom From Procrastination membership program. The doors happen to be open right now for the next few days. Today's Tuesday the 16th. They'll be open until Thursday, April 19th, 2019. And the link is beneath this video. Um, in this program, I come on live with my small group of members and I do coaching, I do supportive work, I do educational work, and then we all get together and do the work that we've committed to do for that day. So it's accountability, it's coaching, it's fun, it's like family, and it's a great way to ensure that you get the life that you wanna lead. All right, take care, I'll see you next Tuesday. Thanks for listening, bye.